In June of 2015, the McKesson Corporation uh, honored uh, Silicaga's Marble City Pharmacy with their 2015 Pharmacy of the Year Award. And uh, Jacob and uh, Jerry Johnson join us here in just a couple of moments. Take a look at this. The founder of this pharmacy got the independent itch and began his new startup store in Silicaga, Alabama. The pharmacy thrived and he later brought in and passed on much of the responsibility to his two pharmacist sons. This pharmacy is a family owned business that embodies a service focused atmosphere and that's what differentiates them. Welcome to the stage, the 2015 Pharmacy of the Year Grand Prize winner, Danny, Jared and Jacob Johnson of Marble City Pharmacy. Pharmacy of the Year, and co-owners uh, Jacob and Jerry Johnson join us this morning, and guys, that's an extreme honor. Congratulations to all of you, including Dad. Well, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, this had to come as a surprise to you, even though, what, your dad started this, what, uh, 04 or somewhere Three. in there? 2003. 2003. And uh, so you guys uh, are, are a part of the ownership of Marble City Pharmacy. And I was just listening to, to the audio and, and what you guys were saying and what your dad was saying. You guys actually mean that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> we mean it. I tell you, we, uh, we go to work every day, try to do a good job. But to, to get this award is really kind of a validation of what we do every day. And uh, our patients are wonderful. We try to take the best care of them. And uh, to be recognized for that is really special. I mean, Jacob, you, you kind of take it personal. Every customer is important. Well, you know, and that's, we say this a lot, and we've said this a lot since the award was announced, and that is, you know, our job, it's a lot more than putting pills in a bottle. Our job is to simply put, take care of everybody that comes mm -hmm. in that door. And, you know, we've always said if we do that, we may or may not ever win an award. We may or may not ever, you know, get recognized or noticed, but that's our job. Get up every day, come to work, take care of everybody that comes in that door the way we would want to be taken mm -hmm. care of, or our mother or grandmother mm -hmm. won't be taken care of. And if we do that, everything will work out mm -hmm. fine, and we'll take care of people, and we'll leave at the end of the day knowing we did something good. And Jared, there are a lot of pharmacists to choose from, uh, but but you you got to have something. You got to have a, a niche there. And Marble City Pharmacy, when they first started, I mean, it just exploded. You know, uh, something that we learned from our dad and from James Hobson, who opened the pharmacy with dad, is that uh, we we try to offer service that sets us apart from everybody else. And one of the biggest compliments we get is that when people come into our pharmacy, they say, this place has a different feel about it. It just feels different when we walk in the door. And uh, we, we really are thankful for the people that have made that possible. Um, one of the things that, <clears throat> well, never mind. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, uh, I'm surprised your dad didn't come because you know he he he's a he's a camera guy you know he uh, but uh, you know he's a great guy and and I know you guys are, are so thankful to to your entire family uh, your mom and your dad uh, for bringing this together and the award had to mean something very special to you guys for Danny's sake. You know, he's done, let's see, he, I'm going to tell on his age here. He graduated pharmacy school in 1972. Don't, shh. <laughs> you, know, and, you know, I don't know anybody that's ever worked harder than he has or anybody that's ever loved his job as much as he has. Mm -hmm. And so for him to be able right here in the twilight of his career to really be recognized for that, even though this is a yearly award, a lot, you know, it, it builds up over mm -hmm. time you know, to be able to qualify for it. And so, so much of this is him. And at the end of his career, to be able to really be appreciated for all he's done for all those years, it's great. The uh, 2015 Pharmacy of the Year uh, by the McKesson Corporation and Marvel City Pharmacy, uh, the recipient of that award. And uh, Jared, when people come into the store, I mean, I've noticed this, you guys know their names. 
I mean, it's just like, uh, you know, a big family here, you know? We know their names, and that's one of the things we think sets us apart. You know, not too long ago, we had a new patient come in, never been there before, and uh, one of our current patients at the counter said, hey, you're going to love it here. They know everybody's name. They know what we like, and they know what we need, and we think that's special. And uh, it takes a special staff, too. You guys, and Danny just can't do it. it. It takes a team effort. We have a great staff. You know, and some of them have been there a long time and have been able to learn from just the way we work and see that, and we try to lead by example. But, you know, it's also, I can't make somebody care about my patients in the store. So, and we've been very fortunate in our hiring that we've got people that care mm -hmm. and people that are willing to work and that buy into the concept of treat everybody like family. And, you know, we can't teach everybody that. We've been very fortunate the people we have working for us are that, they live that. And so it works very well. Now, since 2003 or, or when the pharmacy started, you've added to as you go along. You've got several specialized uh, services that you offer. Talk about that this morning. We have. We've added things over the years. We started our, first of all, probably started with compounding. So we make specialty medications that have to be made from dry powdered ingredients. And then after that, we added vaccinations. We first started with flu shot, then we started offering a full line of vaccines. Then we went to diabetic shoes. So we fit people and we build Medicare for diabetic shoes. We added a full line of uh, custom compression hosiery and, and, and compression socks. And then we started doing health screenings for the state of Alabama. And then our most recent thing, which you heard on the video, was we opened uh, Marble City Vital Care, mm -hmm. which is our home infusion franchise. So we do IV and enteral medications for patients for administration at home. And so, you know, you're always looking for the next thing that, that will just add to your business to help you serve more people uh, and do a good job. Not too long ago, uh, my cell phone rang and, and it showed Marble City Pharmacy. And I, I answered it and, and it's an automated voice and it's, Jared reminded me that, hey, my prescription needs to be refilled. You know, so it's a little thing like that, especially for us guys getting on up in years. You know, we, we, we forget about that blood pressure medicine, but it's a good thing for reminders. Yeah, there are people like you that we need to remind, that's for sure. So, are you doing a better job? I, I, I am. I am. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, Jacob, it, it's got to be uh, a special moment for you guys in winning this award. But in recognizing your father, who, you know, blazed a trail for you guys and, and uh, is continued to be uh, a valuable asset, I know that had to be a special time for y'all. Well, you know, we were blessed growing up in, in so many ways. But, you know, because of him and the way he is, you know, we inherited and learned, you know, his way of doing things that, you know, never rest until it's right always keep getting better, always keep trying. There's never a lazy moment. I don't remember him sitting down. I'm not sure that he ever sat down in my growing up years. I know he did sometimes. I don't remember it. More energy than anybody <laughs> yeah. ever yeah, had. Yeah. And so you know, that's how we were raised. We were raised, you know, take care of others, work hard, never rest till the job's done perfectly, and keep working at it all the time, always get better. That's how we were raised. And so that's how he he did all his work up before he ever opened the store. That's how he worked when he opened this store. That's how he still does everything he does now that we, we kicked him out and, and he retired. Yeah. Uh, that's how he does. You'll teach he, him, won't you? <laughs> yeah. That's how he attacks everything. Yeah. And so it, it's great to see him honored this way. And it's great that you know, we were able to incorporate some of that into our professional mm -hmm. lives and, and live that same way. Uh, Jared, not just a, a, a pharmacy, but you know, a great gift shop there too. Well, wow, glad you said that. Our gift shop has expanded in the past, I'd say, two to three years, and it now takes up the entire front half of the store. And Beth Crawford, our gift department manager, and my mom and everybody else who's been involved has just provided us with a beautiful space there. And, and, and not just a beautiful space, it has things that people want. Mm -hmm. So uh, here's our plug for our gift department yeah. right here. <laughs> Guys, there's gifts for everybody, any occasion. Come in and check it out. I think you'll like what you see. Uh, Jacob Jared mentioned mom and you know she's a driving force there huh 
I'm still scared of her. Um, I'm, I'm 35 years old and I'm still terrified of her. Uh, she was a driving force at home. She's been a driving force in our lives from day one. Uh, and, and she keeps she keeps dad going too. And so, no, mom, mom's ever been as hard a worker as any of the rest of us, even though she's not in the store that often. And and she is our uh, our compass, our guidepost a little bit. And, and we're, we're still scared of her. He hasn't admitted it out loud, but yeah, we're still scared of her. <laughs> but she, uh, she takes care of business and, and she's been very good in keeping us going. Uh, the medical field, uh, medicines, prescriptions, uh, over-the-counter med- everything is changing. It's, it's, it's just fluid all the time, and man, you got to keep on top of things. You got to keep on top of things. That's one of the reasons you see us adding this service, focusing on this service. In fact, just two weeks ago, we just started something else called medication synchronization. It's a program that we call Simplify My Meds. And Simplify My Meds is a way to get persons' prescriptions all refilled on the same day each month. We give calls out two days ahead of time to remind them, hey, tomorrow's your monthly pickup day. We get everything on the same day so people don't have to come in the pharmacy mm-hmm. over and over and over. It's just another way we're looking to the future because things are changing. We get paid differently by insurance companies, so we've got to adapt to the landscape constantly. You're right. Uh, you see, uh, Jacob, the pharmaceutical field as far as medicines are concerned. Uh, do you see it as wow? We we've we've made a lot of headway in battling some of the illnesses and, and disease that are rampant in our land today. Man, we've done we've done great in the medical field and getting so much closer to things, but. I'll tell you what blows my mind. This this is this is cool. One of our other latest things. Matching pharmacy and genetics. We've got the ability with sev- and this grows every week. There's a new something every month now. Mm-hmm. But there are certain drug classes now you can come in our store, we can do a DNA swab of your cheek, send it off to the lab we are affiliated with. And they can tell you within a certain class of medications, for instance, one of the ones we offer is pain medications Mm -hmm. or ADHD medications for kids, Mm -hmm. which ones of all these drugs are going to work best for you, not me, not him, you know, work best for you um, with your genetics mixed with pharmacy. It's called pharmacogenetics. It's the biggest word I know. I love to say it because it's the only really smart word I know. He has no idea what it means. Uh, But yeah, we've come so far medically that we can match, you know, which medicine in a group of 20 or 30 is the best for you as an individual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Jacob and Jerry Johnson, our guests this morning from Marble City Pharmacy, 2015 Pharmacy of the Year Award from the McKesson Corporation. And of course, uh, you know, San Diego, a long way from Silicon, Alabama, but I know you guys had fun uh, in late June. And uh, uh, we certainly honor you guys, the company, and, and thank you for serving this community. Uh, you know, I, knowing your dad, your dad's, uh, as far as I've known, he's always had a servant's heart. Well, thank you for saying that, and he has, and that's what it's all about. We, we learned that from our parents at an early age, and they learned that from their parents, and they learned that from the Bible. And so we're thankful for those lessons. I will say this about San Diego, you know, beautiful place, had a great time there. Uh, we got to get up on stage, and you saw that in the video. It was a big production and all that, but to be honest with you, the most satisfaction has come since we've gotten home. Our customers have started to find out that we won this award, and they've written us notes, and they've come in and said things like, congratulations, you really deserve this. And those are the people that are coming in every day. They see what we do. And for our customers to say, you really deserve this, that means more than any of the flamboyant stuff you saw there on the video. Uh, yeah, a couple more minutes for these guys. That, uh, without naming names, uh, maybe, maybe an example of, of, uh, of how you've been able to help someone that, that walks in the store and, 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 and they've got issues, but you're able to help them and, and get them going the right direction. I had a uh, gentleman... So this is two or three years ago now. Uh, he and his wife both lost their job, um, lost their medical insurance. Obviously, cost is an issue. And we did something for he and his wife that we do for everybody on an everyday basis anyway, and that's, hey, your medicines are too expensive. Let me call your doctor. Let's figure something out. Let's get some cheaper stuff. Let, we can take care of you one way or another. And again, this is something we do all day, every day, but it, they just really needed it at that particular time. So once we got everything settled and we trimmed his you know, monthly prescription costs by probably 70%. Um, he came in one day, asked me to come talk to him over kind of in the corner, and I went over there and he said, I just want just, I got to tell you this before I leave today. He said, I just want you to know that God puts people like you in places like this 
to help people like me. And he started crying and he left. And I got news for you. I'd, I'd be uh, wrong if I didn't admit I had a little bit of little bit of moisture right about mm-hmm, here mm-hmm. Uh, when he said that as well. And boy, when, when you hear something like that, you know what? I was going to do what I did for him anyway. It didn't change anything. It was the right thing to do. But when someone appreciates it and tells you that and you know for a fact the impact you've made mm-hmm. on somebody, boy, mm-hmm. it, it makes you get up the next morning and do it again. Wow. Enough said. Yeah. Thank you guys for being with us this morning. Again, congratulations to your family Thank and you. Marble City Pharmacy for being named the 2015 Pharmacy of the Year by the McKesson Corporation. And uh, keep up the good work and keep dad and mom straight. Sure. <laughs> we'll do our <laughs> best. You. More on Thanks. Daybreak coming up right after you watch this.